everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I'd like to start off this uh, YouTube video by wishing you all happy holidays. And what I'm thankful for, of course, is uh, this wonderful world of art we all get to share and my friends within that world, as well as my family and friends. That's what I'm grateful for this year. Now I'm going to uh, move into a segment on how to graph. I go over this in uh, some of my workshops and I thought it'd be nice to have a tutorial on here so people can um, figure it out a little easier. It's a lot of math. So anyway, here we go. All right, so what you will need is your reference photo, okay? Um, your piece, this is um, just scrap paper, but I'm pretending it's a piece of watercolor paper, okay? so. Anyway, you have your uh, photo here. Now the math involved is not too complicated. It all depends what size reference photo you decide to work from first. Okay, so I made this easy for myself. This is a, um, I'm trying to think of what I did now. One, two, three, four. It's an eight by two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten eight by ten okay so this is an eight by ten i'm um, also before you measure your photo make sure you trim off any excess paper because a lot of time i've done this myself where i start measuring at the at the margin and then my measurements are off when i get to my watercolor paper okay so anyway this is an, an exact eight by ten so i cut my watercolor paper to be double that Okay, so an eight by 10 becomes a 16 by 20. Okay, that makes sense. So um, that way it's easier to, if you keep it even, the math, which I'll show you here on this paper. Let me zoom into this. This, this is what I do. I just make these little notes. Okay, so um, for a full sheet, you have 30 by 22. Okay, that's what it comes, that's a full sheet. So you divide that in half. So 30 divided by two is 15, 22 divided by two is 11, okay? And that's still a little large to print off. Most of us don't have the capability to print that large. So what I do is um, I will divide it by a third then. So I take 30 and divide it by three is 10, and 22 divided by three is seven and a third, okay? So that's close enough where you can figure it out using a ruler, okay, or a yardstick. So. This would be your reference photo, would be roughly a, almost a seven and a half by 10. And this would be your watercolor paper, 30 by 22, okay? So for a half sheet, it's a little simpler. Um, half sheet is 15 by 22. So you divide it in half, that gives you a seven and a half by 11, perfect. Okay, for a sheet of paper to come out of your printer. Just make sure you don't have a margin or your 11 won't be a true 11. It'll be like a 10 and a half, okay? So you have to set set your um, printer so there's no margin. Okay, so then quarter sheet, 15 by 11, would become a seven and a half by five and a half reference photo. Okay, so this would be your reference, and this is your watercolor. Okay, so that's how you do the math. Um, also, if you come up with weird numbers and you really wanna do that size, you can always go on to um, any website that converts and just convert the fraction into a decimal or vice versa and you'll get pretty exact measurements to do this okay so back to this so anyway i've already put out my hash marks on my reference photo they're one inch apart okay Let me zoom out a little bit here okay so my reference photo they're one inch apart all the way around exactly measured and on my watercolor paper since it's double the size they're two inches apart all the way around okay and then then it's just a matter of connecting the two hash marks okay and you just go across and you don't you wouldn't do them these, this dark of course because you don't want to have to get rid of them on your watercolor paper um i'll do them this is about how light as i usually do them it's more like that but i'm doing them dark so you can see what i'm doing here so you just keep moving up the line oops make sure you're lined up with both there we go Okay, and then you're going to do the same, which I don't have a ruler long enough, but you do the same lengthwise here. So that way you end up with, um, let me just get it started so you can see, you'll end up here on your paper with two inch by two inch squares, okay? And I'm just going to do a quick demo of part of this, so we're going to just wing it a little bit. 
I just didn't want to use a big cumbersome yardstick here for this demo, but I have them. That's what I use when I do a full sheet. But I have to clear everything off my art table or I'm knocking stuff around with that yardstick. <laughs> so. And this could be off a little bit because I'm not lining it up down there, but it's close enough. So there, there would be my squares at the beginning of this. Then, on your reference photo, it's a little easier. I use a white pen on my reference photo so I can see the marks better. So let's just, and these are all going to be one by one squares, okay? Because this is half the size of my watercolor paper. Okay, so. Now you can make your lines on your reference photo as dark as you want because you don't have to get rid of them later. They can just stay there. So let's just do three rows of this. Oh, that little nail bump there. Okay. Then line it up top and bottom. Okay. And... And here's the next one. Okay. So that's all you're doing is just make your marks. Well, this one doesn't really come out that good. Let me get that line in there. It's the only trouble with these gel pens. Okay. So now you can see my squares here and my squares here. Okay, so pretend this is going to be the cor this corner of my reference photo. So when you go in to draw, all you have to do is pay attention to where something comes in and out of each square. So if you start down here at this lower square, I'm going to zoom in for this part. Now, I would do all this graphing before I begin, okay? I'm just cutting time here to make it um, so you don't have to watch every step along the way. So now all I'm concentrating on right now is this. I'm going to move it a little closer still. There we go. I'm more concentrating on this square right here. And it's pretty simple. All that's there is right here, this little uh, line runs up. It starts about here. Check how close to the corner of your paper it is. So it starts about here, and it ends right about here. So you just join that and that, okay? And there's that line there. So that's all there is there. Now let's go over to this one. This is a little more complex, but still pretty easy. It comes in a little bit like so. And then right about here, this part comes down and it ends almost at the corner. So like so. Okay. And looking. Okay, and then this joins up with that. Okay, so that's the only drawing there. Okay, that's all that's in that square. So then you come over to this square, and there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing to draw in this square. This is the flat part of this spoon. Okay, so then you come over to this one. So this is blank. You come to your fourth one. And always just count, too. It's like count a cross stitch. If you lose track of where you are, and here's the line that would be here. Okay, so that's blank in this one. It starts right about here. This is the edge of that spoon. Comes down like so. And then here. Comes down here and here. And it ends right at this line, which is, I know I didn't put it in, but it's right here, okay? And then I look and that's all there is in that square. So I'm done. And you would just keep moving up and do each line and keep joining what you've already done. Okay, this is another easy one. All it is is, and that's why I use this reference photo because it is kind of easy. It just has this white little thing in the corner. And then it has this like kind of rough little tarnish area in here, which doesn't even have to be perfect. Okay, it just points right towards the corner. And then here in this one, it just has this that joins into this one. So now you even have this as a guide. So it starts here and it kind of bends down into this one. Starts skinny and bends down into that, okay? So as you move through, um, this drawing will come to be on this. And then all you need, which I don't know if I have handy. Oh, here it is. It's just a soft eraser. Just a soft eraser and then you just um, take out your lines in between your drawing okay and it's easy to tell because they're all very straight lines you know so you just would take them out and then what's left is your drawing 
and then you proceed to do your painting. So that's graphing 101, pretty basic. Like I said, the math can get complicated, but just use those conversion rates that are on Google and they'll help you with that. Okay, so that's it. And let me switch back over. So that's it. And again, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Be safe and enjoy good food and being with your families. And I'll see y'all soon. Bye-bye.